Hello and welcome to Mbira Tutorial 8 everyone where we'll be looking at a song called Tondo Bayana. So this is a traditional Mbira standard just like Nema Musasa and Chamu Tengure. And I'm sure there is a very interesting story behind Tondo Bayana because Tondo Bayana is a word, Shona word that means we're going to stab each other I would imagine with spears. So today we just released two videos, this one which explains how to play Tondobayana and another one which is a short story about Tondobayana just so that you have some perspective when learning the song. So for this one we're going to start with the left hand which is playing the bass and let's make some kind of a table so that things get clearer. So there are 16 bars and 16 changes which means you change what you are playing 16 times before you repeat everything from the beginning. And to help you remember the sequence of the notes to play we are going to use the numbers from the numbered notation like this. And remember on the third exercise from last week we practiced playing two notes at a time using the left hand thumb. But this song has a three feel which means notes are divided into groups of threes. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we play the two notes on one and two, and then we don't play anything on three. So for example, you're you're playing like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if I don't clap on the third beat, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And if we speed it up, one, two. So this is the rhythm that you'll be playing with. One, two, three, one, two, three, da, da, ba, 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 ba. Playing those octaves using your left hand thumb. So if you put that rhythm together with the notes on the chart, it will sound like this. So the left hand is responsible for playing the backing which is called the kutsinira and the right hand will be playing the lead melody which is called the kushaura. So the right hand will also have a similar rhythm to the left hand and for this one we're going to go back to the old school way of learning where you look and listen. So we're just going to learn two very short and easy melodic patterns. The first one is like this. And the second one is like this. And for now you can use either your thumb or your forefinger there. Just do what's most comfortable for you. Then when we expand and improve our playing in later videos, we'll get more specific on which fingers to use for which part. So you should practice both hands separately a lot. And when you feel like you've gotten the hang of it, it's time to combine both hands now. So remember the right hand has two parts while the left hand has 16 changes. So what happens is the first part of the right hand is played at the beginning of the first eight bars or the first eight changes. And the second part is played at the beginning of the second eight bars like this. So again, you should practice these parts separately, then when you combine them, 
do it very slowly. In fact, slow enough that you can't make a mistake and be very patient, especially if you are still new to the Mbira, because if you play too fast, you risk making too many mistakes, which might cause you to end up feeling like Mbira is not the thing for you. So don't give up, be patient, practice for a short time every day and you'll be fine. Wash out.